Buju, Kinamagi and Nene Airline Indigenicast, and welcome to this production of the My Math Network. Today's edition, Chapter 9, Lesson 4, Use Models to Add Unlike Fractions. Begin by looking at our previous day's assignment, which was subtracting like denominators and remembering to put in simplest form. So two six becomes one third, four ninths stays the same, five eighths stays the same, three fourteenths, one seventh, one fourth, four fifths and simplest, and sausage at three eighths. Today's assignment will look like this. Um, if you have fraction pieces, that's great. Um, those are ideal to use. Uh, but they will present some pictures that you can utilize as well. So chapter nine, lesson four, hands-on, use models to add on like fractions, brings us in with how can equivalent fractions help me add and subtract fractions. And now today we're gonna look at what happens when I didn't have like denominators and how I can use those equivalent fractions to do this. We're going to begin on page 631 in your My Math uh, packet. It is expected that you will fill this in as we go to create that artifact that you can use uh, as you do the assignment or at a later date. When watching the video, uh, if I'm moving a little too fast and you need to finish writing, I usually will say, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen and you could use that second to pause the video. You can also rewind and pause the video as necessary during the course of the class. When giving you a practice one, I will usually ask you to pause the video, complete it and then unpause the video as well. So on 631, it starts with a highlighted word, unlike fractions. Unlike fractions have different denominators. So like one half and one third or one half and one fourth is pictured here. Before you can add unlike fractions, one or both of the fractions must be renamed so that they have a common denominator. So we're gonna use the least common multiple in order to find a like fraction. So step one, and this is in your text, model each fraction for one half plus one fourth, you can see right here, and place them side by side. So right now you just have this top row. Now you're gonna find fraction tiles that will match the length of the combined tile. So I need for me from here to here. And line them up below the model. So you can see how they lined up one fourth and one fourth and one fourth to get to equal up one half and one fourth. So there are how many of the one quarter fraction tiles in all? Three. And we're only going across the bottom. So one fourth plus one fourth or plus one fourth, which is equal to three times one fourth, is three fourths. The total length of that board is three fourths foot or nine inches. So go ahead and answer, put write these in. I'll give you about 15 or 20 seconds. And then we will turning onto the pit, top of pit, the page on 632. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen. So we're looking at the triad here. Moon's family ate two thirds of a strawberry pie and Brendan's family ate three quarters of a different strawberry pie. Here's the two. How much did they eat all together? So here's Moon's family, here's Brendan's family. So step one was model each fraction using fraction tiles and place them side by side. Here's that. Now find fraction tiles that will match the length of the combined tiles. So one of the things I would recommend here is that you look for the least common multiple of three and four is one way to do this. In that case, it's 12. So now I'm gonna count this. Oops, actually let's there we go. 
And I count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 of the 112s. This represents the fraction 17 over 12, which is one and five twelfths, because 12 goes into 17 one time, that's that. There's a remainder of five right there. The denominator stays the same. So my, and that's simplified, so my answer is one and five twelfths. Do make sure that if you're writing a small one, that you keep it kind of in the middle, so that it doesn't look like 15 twelfths or five over 112. I tend to write it where it's bigger like this. That way there is no confusion. The helpful hint um, is right here as a mixed number. That's 17 12 equals 12 12 plus 5 12, which is it? one, because that's a one, and 5 12. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and make sure that's written in. All right, let me go ahead and clear it. In the first activity, how does the denominator of the sum three fourths compare the denominators of the add-ins two and four? Four is the least common multiple of two and four. So that's important to remember as an easy way to do this. Denominator 12, three and four. 12 again is the least common multiple of three and four. It's also the product of three and four. So that is a quick way you could cheat and say, okay, three times four is 12. Let's make these over 12. You might sometimes have to simplify if there was a smaller least common multiple. The denominator of the sum of three and four. Well, it's going to be 12. What? We then start out, so that's going to be 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths, which is 7 twelfths. All right, here's some practice ones. Um, if you have fraction tiles, please use them. Otherwise, you will need to find an equivalent fraction for both of these. Um, I know that this is not ideal, and if you were in the classroom, you would probably have fraction tiles. Um, there should be some online fraction tiles that you could utilize um, and if I can find some for those, I will post them in this post. So go ahead and pause the video and unpause to see the product or the sums actually. Let me pause the video now. Welcome back. So they drew them out for you, two thirds plus one sixth and two one sixth equal one third. So we have one sixth and one sixth, one sixth and one sixth and that other one sixth. Together, it's five sixths. Four goes into eight, so this one's, here's your three eighths, plus one fourth, which is two eighths, and we have five eighths. Let's go ahead and practice just a couple more, six and seven. You may pause the video now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. Three tenths plus one fifth, which is gonna be two tenths equals five tenths, which is simplified down to one half. These two quarter, these two eighths equal a quarter. So now we have seven eighths and we're good to go. At this point, I'm going to send you into the homework, if, which is right here. They did draw those for you. Um, if you can draw models, even freehand, that's all right. Um, like I said, I will try to find a resource for you and post the link to it in the in this post under the Google Classroom so that you could solve them with that hands-on tool. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at mirlandedsidechipschool.net. Hope you have a minute. Gijigat, minwa, bama, pee.